imagine that this hall is a city and you are all residents of the city. Now imagine that I enter your city carrying the deadly drug resistant strain of TB. Living in South Africa, we know what that means. Let's have a show of hands. Who among you is worried they're going to get infected? Yeah, practically all of you, and yes, you should be. Now imagine if you had in your hand a tool that would allow you to look at how this TB disease would spread and perhaps give you the best chance at being able to stop the disease. Well, in my research area, infectious disease modeling, we try to build models like this for policymakers to control and fight disease. Sound a bit like science fiction? Well, think of it in the simplest way as a video game. A game like Minecraft or SimCity, where the idea is to build a simulation or a virtual reality of how the disease will spread throughout the city. Now, if you could do that, we could answer all kinds of questions. What do we need to do to contain the disease? Should we vaccinate everyone in the room or maybe start with our learners near the back? So how do we build models like this? Well, first, we need to have a good understanding of biology. Secondly, we need to go to all of you to collect data on you, your age, your movement within our city, and the people you're generally in contact with. And then we bring mathematics into it all. And we use mathematics to build equations, firstly, on how the disease behaves in our body, how your movement around our city helps to spread that disease, and equations on how vaccinating yourself will protect you and those around you. We bring in some computer programming to put it all together, and then we've got in our hand that tool to help us see how this TB disease is going to spread in our city. Now already in the world, there are several models developed for HIV, for TB, all helping policymakers fight disease. I built the first models for malaria for South Africa in our government's bid to eliminate malaria by 2020. The thing I love most about mathematical modeling of diseases is that it requires mathematics, computer science, biology, and statistics. In short, it is the full scientific package. Now, some of you may have noticed you've got a little square of paper in front of you. Those of you who have it, I'd like you to have a look at it, and please raise your hand if you have an Easter egg. Yeah, well, congratulations. Happy Easter. In the course of me standing here, had I really had TB, you would be infected. <laughs> You know, it's amusing to us now, but never forget, this is a deadly serious battle that we are facing. 20 years ago, the kind of modeling that I do was not possible. But today, through science and technological advancement, we have mathematical modeling being an integral part of shaping policy and saving lives. It is the impossible made possible through science. Thank you. <laughs>